Well, BP, uh, the initials once stood for British Petroleum. Might be boiling point now. That's where a lot of people are. Susan Candiotti looks at the damage BP has done to its own brand with its failed response to the crisis. BP's crumbling environmentally friendly image is taking yet another pounding. Demonstrators in New York mocking the company by covering themselves in fake oil. A foreign oil company on our shores doing damage to our coast, to our nation. That's the image that they've got to try to correct. PR crisis expert Brian Dobson says BP dug its own hole early on, in part by calling the spill, quote, relatively tiny compared to a big ocean. To call the spill tiny relative to the oceans is ridiculous. That's it, totally irrelevant. This is, this is the CEO of a company uh, who is spewing oil off of the biggest customer in, on the globe, off the coast of the U.S., the number one consumer of energy. Time and again, BP's boss has been asked to defend earlier statements downplaying the spill. At the time that I made the statement, we clearly had not had any oil on the shore, and we were doing everything we could to contain the oil offshore and defend the shoreline. A cup of oil on the shore is failure. And in that regard, we have failed to defend the shoreline to the gr degree and extent that we believe we could. BP also came under fire for not telling anyone the top kill procedure was temporarily stopped on its first night and for its performance at town hall meetings. You know. Have you been permitted by DEP? That I need to check on. Are they pre-testing the soil, the current condition of soils in that area before they start doing the decontamination process? Um. Yep, I'm going to have to look, get back to you on that one as well. CNN affiliate WEAR reports that BP spokesperson now has been let go. And the latest blow up? BP's being accused of bussing in cleanup workers in time for President Obama's Friday visit and who left when the president did. One Louisiana politician called it a, quote, dog and pony show. A BP spokesman downplayed the claim, saying the workers were following a normal schedule. Susan Candiotti joins us now uh, live from New York. Uh, Susan, uh, any, any new response uh, given that they've just announced Top Kill has failed? Uh, are they doing any better or worse with their PR at this point? Well, I wondered that too, Ali. And so I reached out to the very same PR crisis expert that we interviewed for the story. And I said, OK, latest information. What's your take on this? And he said, you know what I found interesting about what the COO said? He said, Look at the words that he chose. He chose what he said very carefully, the words. Specifically, remember that the COO said simply that we're moving on to the next option. But the crisis expert said, why didn't he simply say, we failed mm -hmm. and we're sorry? And he actually pointed out that it was the Coast Guard Admiral who said, we failed, not BP. Very interesting, so, yeah. Yeah, exactly. He, he said that in his opinion, he thinks that really, the company at this point can't say we're sorry enough times yeah. in I, order to win back the public's confidence. What, what, what everybody seems to agree, the scientists, BP, the government, is that uh, once they get these relief, these two relief wells uh, drilled, uh, that should be enough to stop this well from, uh, from, from spilling into the Gulf of Mexico. But that could be August. So I guess they all know that there's a result three months out. The issue is uh, that's just not going to be acceptable for them to say. They can't come out and say, yeah, we'll get this thing done in three months. They sure have a, a, a rough road ahead. There's no doubt about it. And as this expert pointed out as well, at, at this point, what BP needs to do is to be as open and as transparent as it possibly can. And he added to spend as much money as it takes to not only clean up this mess, this environmental mess, but also to try to reinstill confidence in the public to win back their customer base because clearly it, it, that may take years. It just might take years. They, they did make many references in the uh, press conference. By the way, we're going to be uh, bringing uh, our viewers uh, portions of that. It was a very interesting conference. Mm -hmm. uh, they did make many references, uh, subtles from BP, about getting better, about communicating to the media. And there was definitely some, some anger on the part of some reporters about uh, feeling a little bit messed, or, uh, messed around. So it, it does seem that they are acknowledging they've got a uh, fairly serious image problem. Susan, thanks so much for that story and for uh, staying on top of this for us. Susan Candiotti in New York.